Hello there and welcome to my chaos. So Disney Dreamlight Valley just released on their Twitter page the new 2023 content roadmap. So look at this, look at this, look at this. We have a new one, we have another one. I cannot believe it's already been six months. Well, I guess it's been five months. But like half a year since the last content roadmap because the last one they released was January 25th, I believe. So yesterday they dropped this image of the new update coming in hopefully just a few days of update number five, the remembering and we already talked about them having fairy godmother i talked about the treehouse in my last video so be sure to check that out after this one but let's go ahead and talk about the content roadmap and things that we're hoping to see let's see what they said so this was just released about an hour ago i was literally in the middle of making lunch so <laughs> all right Hey Valley Villagers, it's pretty wild to think that we're almost halfway through the year already. From welcoming a bunch of familiar faces to the valley and exploring the Lion King realm to celebrating Disney's 100th anniversary and our collective passion for Disney parks, there's already been a lot to love in Disney Dreamlight Valley this year. Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> we really appreciate you joining us on this early access journey and can't overstate the role this community has played in helping to shape where we are now. Well, that was only the first half of the year, and there's a whole lot of 2023 left. We wa or want your first peek at what's coming just over the horizon. Today, we're excited to share an updated roadmap of the content you can expect to arrive in the Valley over the next couple of months. Picking up after the release of the Remembering Update in early June, we have two more updates to give you a sneak peek at, as well as your first hints at what the next chapter of Disney Dreamlight Valley will hold. Old. coming later this year check it out below <laughs> yay okay so first obviously we are going to get into the june update so it looks like there's going to be two summer updates early june is still spring but you know whatever all right so we have the june update and then we're probably going to get one in like the late summer maybe early to late August. probably sometime in August, I'm assuming. That gives plenty of time. Well, no, because we're gonna have another one in September. This is probably gonna be late July. Bet. Late July. That's that's my guess. So let's focus on this one first. Oh, so this whole star path is going to, I assume, go through the entire summer. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's a cutie. I like that. Okay, early June. Unveil the secret to the forgetting. We know this already. Decorating dreams come true with touch of magic furniture, mannequins, and more. Ew! What does and more mean? I don't know. So the new star path is going to celebrate D100 and the wonder of Pixar. Okay. So obviously we see Vanellope is going to be in this upcoming update. So I assume that means we're not... Maybe, I don't know, it, we still could be getting a princess. I'm assuming the only character we're getting then in this upcoming update for early June is going to be Fairy Godmother, and that's fine. We don't need any more than that, especially with like the forgetting happening. I don't, it might be too much to add anybody else at this time because Fairy Godmother, I, she's going to be a big deal because she's a magical figure. She's going to help out Merlin. We're going to have another magical person to look up to and help us on our quest. So I feel like adding someone else to the equation like Cinderella or anybody is just kind of, it's a lot going on. I'd really like to focus on just Fairy Godmother and what's going on with the forgetting. So I think that sounds perfect to me. I don't think we need another character um, in this new update. Waiting for the next one sounds perfect. And Vanellope, she's gonna be real cute. Hopefully comes with a whole bunch of little candy things. It says a new villager races into the valley. So we were right. It was Vanellope that was coming in summer. Flex your creativity with a new feature and a and win in-game prizes. Interesting. Um. I'm wondering if we are going to be allowed to share designs with each other, finally. <laughs> because people make such amazing things with the touch of magic um, tool. <laughs> it's just mind blowing. And it would be amazing to have those people be able to share their creations with other people, especially since we're going to have the option soon to have furniture. So it's really gonna open doors for those creative people to share what they're creating. Personally, I'm not too into the Magic Touch tool, mostly because I'm on Switch and it's just <laughs> decorating with the Magic Touch and also just decorating my valley in general is difficult on the Switch and that's okay. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna be I would love to see that happen where people can share their creations with other people. Is there anything going on in the background here? What's that? 
over there. One. What's that? Hello? Uh, uh, what? What? What happened to- Oh my god. <laughs> Might just be a plant. Huh. And then we are getting Belle in September. Open a new realm and welcome new friends. Oh, oh, plural. Plural. Along with other surprises. Ooh, got Lumiere on the shirt here. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get a Beauty and the Beast realm. I wonder if it's going to be like the town and then we can go to Beast Castle or is it just going to be Beast Castle? I don't know. That's exciting. What does it say? Oh, right, right. I saw the Star Path Darkness Returns to the Valley. Literally, while I'm getting ready for bed yesterday, I keep thinking to myself, what do I want to see in a Star Path? I want more villain stuff. I want more evil stuff <laughs> like the well of souls maleficent's throne is it called maleficent yes it's maleficent's thrones the maleficent horns i love the dark stuff bring it to me um i don't know if the bats are a hint but you know how they did like a survey asking us like what we would like to see in like coming to Dis disney dreamlight valley they did ask about nightmare before christmas and i think i mean i don't know if they would add it immediately but i feel like it's a very popular thing that people want i am stoked for more scary spooky things to add to the valley and it just it felt like it just happened like we're already talking about like the next halloween season that's crazy <laughs> Woo! Wow, where did the year go? Anyway, so that'll be exciting. And then, super exciting. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this. Late 2023, a new chapter begins. I'll have new characters, new frontiers, multiplayer, new royal tool, and other magical surprises. So, this picture. Do, do we see this picture? Aladdin! We're getting Aladdin! Aladdin is coming! Bet, bet, what new frontiers? Okay, we're getting a new biome. It's gonna be a desert! We're gonna get a desert biome! I'm placing bets right now, okay? We are getting a desert biome, and how cool would it be to have like the Cave of Wonder? Oh my god, could you imagine it like in the town? That might be too much. No, 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 we're gonna shoot for the stars. Cave of Wonder in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Not a realm, no, no, no. In Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> and we can explore the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> I'm like getting myself like too. <laughs> calm down, calm down, drink some coffee. I got a Chewbacca mug, isn't it cute? <sighs> I am centered. <laughs> I'm not centered. <laughs> I'm not centered at all. <laughs> okay. Biome. Desert. <laughs> maybe even more biomes because like I kept thinking to myself we have the Forgotten Lands that has the mountain and then we have Frozen Heights which has a mountain do we know what's on the other sides of mountains friends deserts you will find deserts on the opposite sides of mountains we're getting a desert hopefully behind Frozen Heights not Frozen Heights um, hopefully behind the Forgotten Lands. I think I'm gonna make a video about like what biomes I would like to see and where I would like to see them put. So be sure to subscribe to see that video coming soon. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we're getting a desert biome and that would be so phenomenal. Like Aladdin and Jasmine would go there, obviously. We could have Carrot, I would love to see Rocket Ralph and Vanellope because you know, places like Las Vegas and Dubai and just big cities in a desert like the neon lights in a desert it's just really cool so we could have one section for like the magical desertness and then we can have another side for like the city desertness i don't know that's just that's just what i'm thinking maybe but um yeah we're getting aladdin and jasmine because i do believe that this is in the movie right there's like um what do you think this is called? This is this little sand. Hourglass. <laughs> oh my god. They, they have an hourglass in the movie, right? Like, what, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, because she gets stuck in the hourglass. Jasmine. So, oh, I'm Jasmine. I wonder if this, like, symbolizes something, though. Like, running out of time? Uh, whatever. We're getting a desert. We're getting Aladdin and Jasmine. Confirmed. Officially. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else they say. Oh, wait, no, I want to talk about this too. Um, new royal tool. So 
I would love to see us be able to actually catch bugs. Also being able to hit characters over the head like Maui with a net. Maybe just, just saying. Um, anyway, <laughs> I would love to see that. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say something else, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it for my next video. <laughs> Another idea that I have that could be a magical duel, but we'll, we'll, we'll save it for the next one. Next video. All right, so let's read the bottom. Excited, so are we. To all of you who guessed that Penelope von Schweetz was valley bound, you deserve a treat. Great. Yay! Sip of coffee! Perfect! Zooming ahead to our September update, she will be followed by the much-anticipated arrival of Belle! <laughs> Yay! Alongside a new realm to explore and immerse yourself in. Of course, there are other surprises to look forward to. As you've likely come to expect from our updates, these new characters will be accompanied by a wealth of new content, features, and improvements. We are particularly excited about the certain- or bleh, We are particularly excited about a certain certain brand new feature that will come as part of our summer update. You've all gone to great lengths to share your creativity with us in the game. See, that's why I think it's probably them allowing people to share like their magic touch stuff with each other because it's like hinting at creativity and yeah. So we want to reward you for it. Look out for more on that very soon. Of course, there are also star paths. Since launch, you've shared your most wanted themes with us, and we think these are going to make a whole lot of you very happy. Not only will we be diving into the wonder of Pixar to shine a spotlight on even more beloved Pixar films, but this Halloween season, yeah, will provide ample opportunities to get in the holiday spirit and bring some darkness to the valley. Yes. Yes! I'm ready for the darkness! Ready for the dark side! Looking ahead to late 2023 as the mystery of the forgetting and the forgotten comes full circle in the remembering, a new chapter will begin for Disney Dream Life Valley. <laughs> We aren't sharing many details quite yet, so we'll leave you to speculate. Suffice to say, we have some big plans for the game through the end of the year into 2024 and beyond. Stay tuned in the coming weeks and months as we continue to share more sneak peeks. There's never been a better time to explore the valley, and we can't wait to hear what you think about everything that lies on the horizon. Want to stay up to date? Oh, they have a newsletter? Let me know what you guys are most looking forward to seeing and any predictions you have as to what might be coming soon in any of these updates. Subscribe to my channel for more chaotic, cozy gaming, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!